Here it goes. Yeah, so the whole format looks different this morning for some reason. The video is this little bitty 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 box, so hard for me to see how things look. Anyway, as you log in, I hope you'll let us know you're here. And uh Maybe say good morning. Hope it's a good morning for you. It's another cloudy morning, which is nice in August. We'll take it. So as you, as you log in, make me aware of your presence. I hope to say good morning to you. Good morning to everyone who's here. We'll start at 8. We've got several more minutes to give people time to, to find us. Meanwhile, I invite you to breathe. You may hear my kitty cat in the background. She's, she's quite active this morning. She's, uh, she's looking out the window, watching the birds and generally being a mess, as she is so good at being. Let me see here. Mark says can't see comments. So let me... Um, hmm. I'm not quite sure why I'm not seeing comments. Um, it says comment moderation is not set. Um, and then the options I have are to restrict it to just followers or to slow the comments our only comments over 100 characters will be shown good morning mike i'm so glad you're here and thanks mark for i i don't things as i told you yesterday and mike things are working differently this morning on facebook live than they did last week and i don't know why um, so let me, let me see if I enter a comment, if maybe that gets things going. Um, Yeah, I'm not sure. Mm -mm. Let's see here. Yeah, I know we have one other person who's logged in. 
and I'm sorry I can't greet you for some reason. I can't see comments this morning. Um, so it's one of the things that kind of drives me crazy about Facebook is, is how frequently things are changed. Things worked great last week. Um, so let's see here. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I, the only comment I can see, Mark, is my own comment. I can't see, I can't see anybody else's comments. So, yeah, we'll be starting here in about four minutes. Oh, Nora, I'm so glad you're here. Mark, thanks for, thanks for giving me the feed. <laughs> I can't see comments this morning, and I don't know why that is. Just weird. Mm. Because I don't feel the need to moderate the comments. Um, so... Yeah, and I know there are several people that I hope are going to be logging on here in a little bit. Um, let's see here. Yeah. Hmm. Don't know why I can't see comments. Oh, good morning, Lynn. I'm so glad you're here. Yeah. So, of course, technical difficulties. I can't see y'all's comments this morning for some reason. Don't know why. But we'll begin here in just a couple of minutes. Um, and then I'll go back in afterwards when we end the live session. Um, and I'll I'll view your comments and reply to anything um, anything that's there. Um, yeah, I know. I, I'm, I'm so glad that y'all can hear me, but it's like I'm just talking to myself on a screen to a little bitty thumbnail video of myself on the screen because that's changed from last week too. So just weird, weird, weird. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll begin in... Oh, and John Bibb. Good morning, John. I'm so glad you're here. Just FYI, I'm not able to see y'all's comments and don't know why I can't. Um, so uh, Mark uh, Buford is being kind enough to tell me who all is logging on. And so we'll begin in another minute, um, right at eight. Um, and I hope you have your beverage of choice for the morning and... Um, you know, something that helps you get centered, uh, you know, maybe prayer beads or a lit candle or incense or um, just whatever helps you feel grounded and ready to start the day. Um, for those of you who are joining us, I'm so glad that you're here this morning. For some reason, I can't see your comments, so I can't see who is here. Um, but, um, it's, I'm just really glad, um, that we have gathered here this morning. Um, so when we get finished in a few minutes, I'll go back in and take a look at your comments and reply. All right. So it's eight o'clock. So we'll begin and I invite you right now to just take a deep breath these anxious and sometimes chaotic times, we forget to breathe, or we find that our breathing is really shallow. And so that is the reason for this space at eight o'clock on Wednesday mornings is to remind us all 
to breathe deeply and to remember that the spirit is with us and is as close as our own breath. You know, I shared with the staff a few weeks ago that when the whole pandemic became real for us here in Dallas County back in March, um, my aunt also, um, who was 85 years old, began to decline. And and so I was dealing with her care and um, she died in, in late April. Um, and so after that, um, even in the midst of grief, and I still am grieving, um, it will be for a long time, but I also noticed that I was getting into what I call my Tasmanian devil spin. Um, and I would wake up in the morning and, you know, would notice that my lower back was really tight and, um, waking up in the morning with shoulders hunched, um, and reaching for my phone before I'd even had my coffee or breakfast, reaching for my phone and reading emails, reading the news, um, just really, really crazy. And, and I got into just a really highly anxious, bad place. Um, and I was talking with my husband one night and I said, you know, I, I need to be more intentional in the mornings when I get up and take some time for a contemplative practice and, um, bless him. He, he said, I'll make whatever space you need. I'll be as quiet as I can. He gets up a lot earlier than I do, but, um, and so I'm just really grateful for that. Um, and, you know, it's not, it's not that the problems of the world have gone away. Um, still notice tightness. Um, but what I notice is my reaction or my response to what I'm feeling in my body or what is going on in the world or whatever news I receive. And um, in doing some sermon preparation last week, um, I ran across this quote from John Wesley, the founder of the Methodist movement. And I want to share that with you. Of course, it's in John Wesley's 18th century language. Um, but I just found it to be really, to really speak to me. And I want to share that with you this morning. This is in a letter to a Mr. John Trimbath. And he says, Oh, begin, fix some part of every day for private exercises. You may acquire the taste which you have not. What is tedious at first will afterwards be pleasant. Whether you like it or no, read and pray daily. It is for your life. There is no other way. Do justice to your own soul. Give it time and means to grow. It's a lovely little rhyme there. Do not starve yourself any longer. Take up your cross and be a Christian altogether. Then will all the children of God rejoice. So I want to repeat that little rhyme one more time. Do justice to your own soul. Give it time and means to grow. My friends, I think that is a word that we can take with us today. And it seems counterintuitive. Um, let me check here and see what Mr. Buford has to say. Oh, Jenny, good morning. I'm so glad you're here. And Kelly and Jamie and Jenna and Janie. Um, I'm so glad you all are here this morning. I'm not able to see your comments and I don't know why that is. I've been lamenting about that um, all morning, why things are functioning on Facebook Live differently this morning than they were last week where I could see your comments. Um, but um, 
this this time, even just this brief 10 minutes, this is real soul work and it counts. Um, and I don't know about you, but when I am really attending to my contemplative practice, um, spending time in prayer and meditation, even if it's just for 10 minutes a day, that it makes such a difference. But I always will slip into a place where I think I don't have time. <laughs> and then and then I'll leave it off because I think that I need to attend to other things. And then I find that I'm feeling decentered, that I'm not breathing deeply, and that I'm just tense and having headaches and my lower back hurts. And it's really interesting to consider our bodies. It's like our bodies talk to us. You know, the headache, the tight lower back, um, the neck, which has a crick in it. Um, you know, it's like the body is saying, hello, you have a soul and a body. Please attend to us. And that is the reason why um, we decided to do this on Wednesday mornings, um, was to give ourselves some intentional space and hopefully encouragement to, um, to help encourage uh, more practice, even if it's five or 10 minutes. Uh, meditation teachers and spiritual masters um, from many different religions, not just Christian, tell us that even five minutes, even five minutes um, at some point during our day can really help us remember that we are complete human beings, that we are created by God, that we are loved by God. So as you go through your day, I hope that you remember who you are, that you are loved, that you are blessed, and that you are a blessing. And perhaps to take to heart Mr. Wesley's advice here, to do justice to your own soul, give it time and means to grow. So I invite you to sit comfortably, but straight so you can breathe out of both lungs as evenly as you can. And have your feet on the ground, feeling the earth which supports us. And to just take one good deep breath. My friends, you are loved and you are a blessing. Until next time, so glad you were here. Peace be with you.